Hello students, in this video we'll write down a formula for the nth conversion of an infinite continued fraction. If we're given the continued fraction, given a0 plus 1 over a1 plus 1 over a2 plus 1 over a3, and so on and so on and so on, so if we're given this continued fraction, we of course write this in our notation as a0, a1, a2, a3, and so on forever. Of course we're interested of course in the convergence of this sequence of numbers, okay? And of course the nth convergent, the nth convergent, is a0, a1, a2, all the way down to a n. And of course this nth convergence is a rational number. So I'd like to write this as p n over q n, right? Because we of course know that the nth convert, any finite continued fraction is a rational number. And so what we're going to do is we'll write down a formula for these p n and q n. So p zero will simply just be a zero and q zero will be equal to one. My p1 will be equal to a0, a1 plus 1, and my q1 will be equal to a1. So let's just check. Clearly p0 over q0 gives me a0. That's good. If I have p1 over q1, that's going to be an a0, because the a1 will cancel here, the a1. And then a1 over a1, which is exactly what we see. So these are the base cases. So in other words, these will satisfy any base case for us in an induction. Those are my base case. And then I'm going to define them recursively as follows. I'm going to say p n is equal to a n p n minus 1 plus p n minus 2, and q n is going to be a n q n minus 1 plus q n minus 2. For these, the formulas will be valid for n bigger than or equal to 2. And so we're going to prove these formulas by induction. So we're going to prove by induction, prove these by induction. Okay. So in other words, let's suppose since we have the base case already, let's suppose it's true for level n, for Cn, the nth convergent, for Pn over Qn. In other words, what would that say? That would say that A0 all the way down to An will be equal to Pn over Qn, and the recursion relationships are valid, so this will be an An Pn minus 1 plus Pn minus 2 over An Qn minus 1 plus Qn minus 2. So far, so good. And now let me go to the next one, the next level. So what's the next step going to be to prove the induction? To prove the induction, we'll need to consider this. A0, A1, all the way down to An, and then An plus 1, or the An plus 1. Now, the trick is that when I look at An, An plus 1, I see what? I see an An and then a plus 1 over An plus 1. So I'm going to group those as one whole term over there. So the last two terms can be grouped into one whole term. And then I can use the induction hypothesis. The last term now will be a n plus 1 over a n plus 1. And now I can use the induction hypothesis. This is going to be a n plus 1 over a n plus 1 times p n um, minus 1 plus p n minus 2 all over a n plus 1 over a n plus 1 q n minus 1 plus qn minus 2. And then what we'll do is we're going to multiply the top and bottom of this expression over here by a n plus 1. And what will we get? So if we do so, we'll have a factor of what? We'll have a um, multiply top and bottom by a n plus 1 over a n plus 1. And then we're going to have an a n a n plus one plus one times p n minus one. And then we're going to have a plus a n plus one times p n minus two. All over what? All over a a n times a n plus one plus one then a q n minus 1 plus a n plus 1, then a um, q n minus 2. Okay? Now let's carefully look at this over here. So now let's recall, if I wanted to, if I wanted to show this in, was true in general, I would, what would we need? We would need this. 
we need uh, what? Well, according to our recursion, our recursion will tell us what? We have a pn plus 1, for example, will be a an plus 1, pn, and then a plus, uh, plus a pn minus 1, pn minus 1. OK? So let's take a look over here. So now, if I multiply the pn plus 1, the pn plus 1, uh, what would we need to see over here for the induction? I would need an an plus 1 pn. So I have an an plus 1 pn. But let's try to figure out where that's going to come from over here. So over here, let's if I factor out the an plus 1 term. So I'm going to have an an plus 1. And then we'll have a what? We'll have times the quantity an pn minus 1. pn minus 1. And then a uh, plus pn minus 2. And then what's left over is just going to be a what? It's just going to be a pn minus 1. So a pn minus 1 over here. And similarly in the denominator, what we have, we're going to have an an plus 1. And what do those terms come from? Those terms over here are going to come from, give me an an qn minus 1. And then a what? And then a plus qn minus 2 plus a qn minus 1. And now, by my recursion formula, this is exactly equal to what? This is exactly equal to a pn. So what I have over here is I'm going to have a an plus 1, an plus 1 pn plus pn minus 1 over a what? Over an an plus 1 qn plus qn minus 1. And we see what that is exactly equal to. That, by definition, my recursion relationship is pn plus 1 pn plus 1 over qn plus 1, and we've proven our result by induction. So in future videos, we're going to use this recursion relationship and this structure over here to actually prove results about the convergence of this infinite continued fraction. Thank you very much.